Good day, brothers and sisters. I'd like to share to you a dream I had yesterday, early mornings of yesterday. These are the bits and pieces of it. It may not be in chronological order, but I pray that you would take this unto the Lord, Abba Father Yahuwah. In the dream, I saw that it was dark outside and I wondered why there was minimal light coming from the moon. Surprisingly, when I looked at the moon, it looked like an earth and there was a small moon attached to it and the light was just at the edge. Even in the dream, my spirit knew that it was like a deception, you know, the blue beam project. And for some strange reason, even if I didn't see the source of the music, I knew in my spirit that the evil ones were using the music to hypnotize or program or, you know, MK Ultra, the people. And then, supernaturally, the titles of the song started flashing and one that stuck out to me, to my mind, was Silly Women. And that made me think, what, what's that song? And then another scene was I saw some guys or young guys, perhaps in their senior high school or college age. And I'm not trying to be racist, but I remember they were brown colored and they were in a line facing or directed towards the left. The scene changed and a friend of mine was telling me that uh, rubbing alcohol is being used to deplete our eye layer or you know the evil wicked ones are using it to do that to our eyes and I was kind of confused or dumbfounded and then I woke up and here is the Holy Spirit led interpretation or where the Holy Spirit led me with the bits and pieces in the dream. The song entitled Silly Women led me to search on it, search for it on YouTube and it, I was led to the snake song interestingly and checked on the lyrics and it was something. And our Abba Father Yahuwah Elohim is so amazing that while I was telling my boyfriend regarding the lyrics of the song because I'm not familiar with it he shared to me that Trump once shared a poem entitled The Snake and so I had to check it and here it is called The Snake so I have it does anybody want to hear it again you sure are you sure Okay, so let's dedicate this to General Kelly, the Border Patrol, and the ICE agents for doing such an incredible job. Right? This was written by Al Wilson a long time ago. And I thought of it having to do with our borders and people coming in. And we know what we're going to have. We're going to have problems. We have to very, very carefully vet. We have to be smart. We have to be vigilant. So here it is, the snake. It's called the snake. On her way to work one morning, down the path along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Poor thing, she cried, I'll take you in, and I'll take care of you. The border. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed the vicious snake. She wrapped him up all cozy in a comforter of silk and laid him by her fireside with some honey and some milk. She hurried home from work that night, and as soon as she arrived, 
She found that pretty snake she'd taken in had been revived. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed that vicious snake. She clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in by now, oh heavens, you would have died. She stroked his pretty skin again and kissed him and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, that snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Sighed the vicious snake. I have saved you, cried the woman. And you've bitten me, heavens, why? You know your bite is poisonous, and now I'm going to die. Oh, shut up, silly woman said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. It kind of fit the boys or guys that I saw in the dream as well as they were directed towards the left. So Trump is like, you know, using his influence as to pull the righties, the right wing people towards the left. They're just doings of the same bird. The left and right is just an illusion that they made to divide and conquer. And also to push their narratives, their agenda. And as for the music being used as programming or conditioning people, here's what I could share. Music is frequency program. Music is frequency. What fre frequency are you being fed? If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, if I want you to ask to project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. The brain processes information electrically. It communicates with the cellular structure electrically and it operates within a certain band of frequency. If you can broadcast frequencies carrying information, this, this technology has long been known, carrying information and perceptions within the frequency that, that the brain decodes information, the brain will decode those frequencies and will have those perceptions. You can externally influence people's perceptions externally by broadcasting these frequencies that, that we interact with because we are antenna. The sad reality is that where we now play our music is in A440. Where did that come from? It used to be 417. A440 came in with the Roman Catholic Church. They suppressed the frequencies. They lost somehow the 152 of the best Gregorian chants, including the hymn to St. John the Baptist, which we've now recovered. That that particular hymn was what triggered Dr. Paleo's investigation, looking for those frequencies of vibration by which the music was played. It was known as the most uplifting hymn of the, all the ages, the most spiritually uplifting hymn. Him to St. John the Baptist. It was played to six tones. These are those six tones. These are those six frequencies. And so the A440 is what now is the standard tuning. If you go A439, you're closer to one of the Creator's tones. If you go A441, you're closer to one of the Creator's original tones. That's how precisely it has been manipulated. To do what? to shut down the 95% of your brain, particularly the right brain that operates the heart-mind for the divine human community. 
you don't even know that you've been listening to the static your whole life. You don't even know what the true resonant frequency is because it has been kept. Now, of course, to really be effective, we need to use the proper words and phrases scientifically selected. But that gives you the basic idea. We embed messages just below the threshold of perception so they can go directly into the subconscious. They can play across a community these frequencies without anyone knowing and it starts to have an effect. Master conductor of the Universal Orchestra is singing love songs in 528 uplifting everything simultaneously. And we're the only species out of tune and accepting static for the clear challenge. Do you know that the American military, they've admitted this, they have technology that fires frequencies at the enemy that basically breaks the enemy's spirits. Hearing about frequency and, you know, acoustics there, uh, the Holy Spirit reminded me as well, during college days we were taught that moon was used as the first satellite repeater or the passive repeater and so I had to check as well regarding this and found out about the moon bounce operation. If the moon happened to be overhead when the Soviets sent a signal, some of that signal might bounce off the moon's surface and back toward Earth. Then, if everything was aligned just right, maybe receivers in the U.S. could pick up the signals and map where they came from. If you think that sounds like a shot in the dark, you're right. The Navy built a huge antenna to try it out, but the signals were still a quadrillion times weaker than they would have been from a surveillance plane, and they were too unreliable to be useful. But even if the moon couldn't detect Soviet messages, those experiments helped engineers realize it could solve their secure communications problem instead. That led to a project from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory called Operation Moon Bounce. It didn't involve any giant inflatable bounce houses, but it did involve bouncing radio signals off the moon, which is almost as fun. To test out the idea, the Navy built a pair of specialized antennas, one in Maryland and one in California. And in 1955, they sent the first successful transcontinental satellite communication by bouncing a signal off the moon at exactly the right angle. Since they were sending specific signals and not just trying to pick up radar from the other side of the world, the antennas for Operation Moon Bounce only had to be a few meters across instead of dozens of meters wide. Within years, the program was expanded and could link Hawaii and Washington, D.C. And soon after, it connected ground stations with special intelligence gathering ships at sea. In 1960, the project was debuted to the public, and the U.S. had a powerful new advantage in the Cold War. But as cool as this was, the moon's role was short-lived. Within a few years, the first artificial communication satellites were in orbit, which let you use much simpler equipment to send a message, something small enough to be carried by one person, as opposed to an antenna dish the size of a house. But the project taught us a lot about satellite communication, knowledge that is still useful today. Even though we don't reflect our messages off the moon anymore, the legacy of Operation Moon Bounce lives on. The legacy of Operation Moon Bounce lives on. What the Holy Spirit is telling me is that this technology might be used or will be used in order to implement the U.S., Russia, or, or you know, the deception regarding it. If you're getting another interpretation, kindly share. Last but not the least, the rubbing alcohol depleting the eye or retinal layer led me into looking for it online and interestingly it brought me to this website article well I didn't even read it but just checked if there's word that will pop and and when I saw this thing, this part, this RT, you know, Romeo Tango, Papa, Charlie, Romeo, kind of ring a bell to me and also the 
Delta Nancy Alpha with a small Charlie somehow the small Charlie I think meant in the scientific field it means synthetic or man-made and then it led me to a video And then an aha moment, more than meets the eye, the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus. There are lots of deception going on right now, but we walk by faith and not by sight. All glory to Yahweh Elohim. Shalom.